Hey, what's going on guys? DGS here. I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial and show you guys how I was able to beat the raid boss solo. Uh, this is the first time around, not um, Ultimate Vault Hunter. But this was really the trick right here, the Min Min Lighter. This is a legendary gun that I ended up getting from the grinder. Uh, from using the legendary recipe, if you guys don't know how to do that, two legendaries and one purple gun. The purple gun had to have been the laser gun. And I ended up getting this Min Min Lighter and it is amazing. The electric one is, in particular is the one that I got and the reason why this was so effective. Now, if you don't have that gun, it's not like you won't be able to defeat this uh, boss, but it's really hard to do uh, when you're doing this solo because there's so many layers to beating this boss. Uh, one thing I will say is an electric grenade is absolutely imperative as well. And the one that I got, um, I ended up farming the Iwa Jamaya guy. Uh, that's not his name, but you know what I'm saying. The boss, um, the hidden boss. If you don't know where he is as well, check the playlist in the description and see my other uh, tutorials and I'll show you guys where the boss is. I farmed him a lot I, and I got the electric grenade that drops down and it, it basically uh, causes him electric damage which takes, which takes his shield down and then on top of that um, it actually gives me life back. But this gun um, right here, this Min Min thing is just insane dude. Look at how it just eats away his shield and uh, basically if you don't know what you have to do to fight the sentinel you have to fight three I think rounds of the sentinel normally and then on the third one you f actually fight uh, th through the red part and each one of his layers he um, is elemental and then after that then you'll see what ends up happening and then um, right there is also a note you see how I jumped down and that ring of uh, electricity kind of went around if you don't jump over that you will definitely be paying for it it actually takes almost all of your life away uh, so just a heads up on that but uh, I'm shooting this Min Min thing and I'm using my shield when need be because if, if my shield is completely gone then I use my power up shield um, and I'm using the gladiator obviously uh, to, to beat this uh, this boss but uh, this was extremely difficult this was basically the end of the game uh, this is like kind of the last boss fight that you play at the end of the game and then after that you end up playing it again for the raid boss thing and I, I really did not want to do this but um, it took me a good seven or eight tries until I like really reset my class and made sure that that I set it up appropriately. Electric gun is an absolute must, and you also need a, uh, a the electric um, grenades. I mean, at least for myself. If you guys don't have as hard of a time, then let me know. But I mean, I'm level 33, and these guys are only 29. And I probably would have been able to beat this earlier, like level 31 or so, if I was actually had the right uh, right setup and, and whatnot. But uh, the other thing is I, I have my skill tree right here I'm, is the one where I, I melee and then it causes them to bleed and stuff. So that helps a little bit, but not quite as much as, as you would think. Uh, the other thing to note is that one of the phases that you'll see coming up here, um, you can't use electricity. He resists it. So you have to figure out something else to, to knock down his shield, which honestly doesn't make any sense. Like if he... If he's electric and he has a shield, um, I don't know, like, how do you destroy a shield without electricity? It just it didn't really make too much sense. You can see right there I threw a grenade and I did get some uh, life back, and that was imperative. But basically, you just run around the outside and just run side to side right there. You can see that, that ring, that uh, the fire or whatever that came out, and I dodged it, luckily. And you can see that that was the third time, so now um, you can see that I'm actually fighting and, and hitting him. Um, to uh, decrease his damage. Now the other gun that I will say works extremely well on this is Moxie's gun. It, the one that I had is only level 16. You get it from the uh, mission, one of the main missions, um, and it, so it's like one of the guns that you get in the game, uh, in the storyline. So you will definitely have it. That gun is amazing, and that one's an electric gun as well. So if you don't have this one, try, I would say definitely try the Moxie gun. Uh, the other gun that works really, really well is the E-gun. And the E-gun is kind of like a plasma gun but it's not electric it's non-elemental but it just does continuous damage and it works extremely well uh, on the boss and like it just in general like it works really really well the downside is you'll run out of ammo so make sure that you have all the ammo charged up so that was the first part and then the invincible um empyrean sentinel or whatever the hell it says down there i can't read uh, I just had a long day at work, so I apologize. But uh, so you just got to keep running around. This part gets tricky because the ground gets electric, and you kind of have to jump up on some beams and stuff like that. I felt like a Mega Man style, like boss. You know what I mean, like the big Doctor Wily or something like that. But uh, but I did a horrible job of jumping up on the beams. I just tried dodging this guy as much as I can and jumping left to right. Um, and then really like it comes down to just getting lucky because I came so close to beating this guy three or four or five times. 
and then I got downed all of a sudden and as I got downed there was no little little boss guys around me to shoot to get back up um, again the e-gun and the moxie gun works really well to shoot the uh, little guys around you so you can get back up unless you have like another uh, like rocket or something like that but the acid rocket that I had didn't do anything for me it was completely useless anyway this gun is amazing you can see that his shield just gets dropped so fast when I use this electric gun um, I really ha can't like say enough good things about this legendary it has to be one of my favorite ones in fact I need to do a full uh, video review of it because it's just such a, a beast gun especially on bosses especially if, if you're sitting there waiting for shields to be uh, dropped down now with this boss you can see like I knocked the shield down and now I'm hitting with the red area already so uh, you have to actually do both and here I was getting hit from the electricity so I jumped up there and then the the damn beams went down so this uh, this gun works okay still like on the boss um, and the thing about this one in particular like you just have an, uh, like an, an amazing amount of ammo because it doesn't shoot constant it's just a constant it's like a five uh, ammo little burst but it just does constant damage once it hits them uh, you can switch it to another gun another type of gun basically that just shoots him um, and does damage I used my little uh, shield thing and, and lunged at him and sliced him did a little bit of damage but not not a ton um, and again I could switch it up and I do have some other guns that some other legendaries that would work on him right here but I just was playing stupid But you can see how easily it is to die I mean just chilling there all the time I'm, I'm down I have no shield no no life left and so what I should be doing right now is throwing grenades. That's the other thing that I want to mention is if you do have the electric grenades, if you just keep going around the area, and right here I'm actually switching to my E-gun, and look at the damage. I mean, this, this gun is, is a low level. It says it does 84 damage. That's it, and it just it's an amazing, amazing gun. Check the playlist again in the description if you want to figure out how to get it. And uh, you can see right here I'm using the E-gun to get back up, uh, which was, again, pretty, uh, pretty critical. So this is just eating away his face and uh, killing him very, very quickly with that E-gun. And again, what I was saying, if you just run around the outside of the map, you'll see that there's little ammo spots that in those little holes right here that pop up. And in those ammo spots, you'll see um, that they have grenades. So really, like right now, it's like I might as well start throwing these grenades. It's going to eat away the shield a little bit and give me some life back. And, uh, and you, all you have to do is walk around and, and pick up more of them. So... Uh, you can see right here it didn't really eat down the shield too much as I threw those kind of as he was spawning in. And this is the one, that's right, so this is the one, the second time you end up fighting this guy, he's electric. So you can't use electricity on, it says that it doesn't work basically, so now I'm using like my basically this conference call like acid gun, and I'm just trying to figure out other guns that will work on him, because uh, the electricity does not uh, do too much, um, the acid uh, seemed to work a little bit better. I'm sure maybe a fire gun might work on them, but the e-gun uh, was another good one. That's uh, that was an easy one to go back to. So uh, I went back and used the e-gun a little bit, and we'll see what ends up happening. I have to say that this is probably the hardest part of the boss because up into here you're used to using the electricity through the whole beginning part, and then the, the first part, and then now uh, it's just really really difficult to knock down this one in comparison to some of the other ones. Plus you're you're bobbing and weaving, dodging his attacks, and the uh, the other guys like that are around just shooting you and stuff. So it's kind of a pain in the ass. This one was a great gun. It's another legendary gun that I ended up getting from the grinder. And you can see the rapid fire once you... Now, now that I have the shield, it doesn't do it rapid. But uh, when I just shoot it by itself, it does super crazy fast rapid fire. And uh, it, it's a really, really like a hell of a beasty gun. Um, so I definitely like using this gun as well. Um, and it worked a little bit better than the E-Gun. I just was getting impatient with waiting. But you can see my shields knocked down again. And and uh, and when you do aim in with that gun, you can see that it didn't work out perfectly because it just kind of locks into the target where it was at. But um, now I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, just keep firing away and killing this guy the best I can. If you found this video helpful, let me know. I mean, I don't know if any of these tips are really going to be helpful for you. It really takes time and patience. And uh, and just luck for just trying not to get down, um, and uh, and not staying in one place for too long. You can see right here, I'm just sitting here shooting him, and I lost. He lost like half of his life, but at any given point, I can get hit and like lose all of my life. So you just got to be kind of careful. And right here, there's a fail, and uh, and then right there, see, he just did something. And I just lost all of my my shield, and uh, so I want to go ahead and probably use my power up in there. I'm aiming in at nothing again. So. A lot of user error here 
as I was playing through this thing. But the, the last, this is the second to the last phase, and then as you end up shooting this, then uh, Mr. Many Faces here, like He-Man, no He-Man reference there, uh, ends up throwing down his, his last and final stage. Now this last one is Acid, so the first two guns that I end up having, uh, my conference call type gun, and uh, that little pea shooter that shoots super duper fast, it doesn't do anything on this guy because he's acid based. The electricity does work though, so you can use that to start off. So to finish this guy, like I could use the electricity or uh, my favorite, the E-Gun. And, uh, and you can see the electricity does wonders on this. So that second phase is definitely the hardest with electricity. The third phase, not so bad. You can see almost half of his life is already taken. What I will say is you have to kind of avoid that little acid throw up puddle that he that he drops right in front of you because if you get stuck in that like it's the gift that keeps on giving it keeps, just keeps killing you and uh, you can get down pretty easily from that so you got to be careful from that um, you can see right here his last little mask was busted off and so uh, so now it's go time like I got to this point probably six times and couldn't beat him because again I just got down randomly and because of that um, you know, I, I couldn't get back up because there was no guys around. And his electricity or his acid around would would shock the, his own enemies or something, and then they would die. It was just kind of ridiculous, and I just couldn't figure it out, the magic formula. You just have to keep trying. So you definitely want to use your power-ups, whatever character you are. You want to use your power-ups as soon as you can, as soon as your shield goes down, if, if your power-up replenishes your shield. But you want to use it often because if you use it, if you wait too long, um, the acid could kill you or you could just get down. So you just obviously want to avoid getting down uh, as, as much as you can. Um, anyway, if you guys are interested in the full Let's Play that I did of this um, game, like I recorded this entire thing on my Let's Play channel. The playlist is in the description. There was like 67 or 68 videos. So like it's, it's the complete walkthrough. I did 100% of all the missions uh, in the first walkthrough uh, that I tried playing the game. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And... Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of that, feel free. Otherwise, the other playlist just shows you other tips and tricks and kind of tutorials, gun guides, and those types of things that I'm going to try to stay on top of. Uh, but uh, now that it's kind of party time here, I'm using my shield. The E-Gun would have worked well. You could see the acid ended up getting me, and I got down. And this was, like, where I almost, like, I was like, no, dude, the acid's still killing me. I just got down. I know I'm going to go down again. And you know if you go down too many times in a row you can't like it your life your fight for your life goes super fast and you end up dying but this time like I ended up calling in my shield again and it ended up uh, like helping even though like I was like, getting the acid to burn me burn me down a little bit and I was just trying to shoot him and again right here really really close to dying the e-gun for the win uh, helped me get up and uh, and I'm like dude like the acid to just keep killing me keep killing me and I have him halfway down there's just a little bit left to, to kill this guy, and so I was pretty determined not to die, and luckily, I mean, I got down four times right here. Luckily, I threw a grenade, and the second wind ended up getting me up, and I forgot. I was like, I need to start throwing these grenades uh, and get my life back, and now I'm just hitting him as, as best I can with this acid uh, um, gun or whatever, whatever else I can use. The acid gun you wouldn't think would work. I mean, it does work, uh, even though he is the acid base, but the best bets are the other guns. Um, like the e-gun but if you have any other guns that shoot rapid fire or do like mass amounts of damage on them leave a comment let me know which one you use uh to end up beating him um because i'm assuming you're gonna have to use kind of an arsenal of different guns uh because of all the elements uh, that's why the e-gun was so great because it's not elemental um and you can see it just does uh, a good amount of damage and i keep running at him and lunging and slashing his face probably not a, a wise idea uh but it ended up working in my favor right here I just ended up, I just kept shooting him, kept shooting him, finally I ended up uh, getting him, and I got the achievement, the bigger they are, and then this was the last part that I, um, that I needed in order to get 100% um, of all of the side missions completed and everything, so that's pretty much it though, and then um, obviously after you beat him, it's a big friggin' loot party, love to see the little firework look of all the loot popping out, it's always so fun. Downside dudes, I did not get one legendary for beating that guy. I farmed the shit out of him and I did not get one legendary. I, but I didn't farm the shit out of him. I, it took me forever to finally beat him once, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I thought like, I was like, I definitely earned a legendary, but I didn't get anything, man. It was like kind of a bummer. I didn't really get uh, much from it. Um, anyway, uh, I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it was insightful for you guys trying to beat the boss. 
Uh, leave a comment, let me know if it did help, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.